We were playing out in Minnesota. Mike DeVito remembers this play. We were both going in on a tackle, a couple of my teammates. A split second during a game in 2015 that changed his life forever. I just got clipped in the head just enough, just enough where it knocked me out cold. DeVito went to the University of Maine and signed with the New York Jets as an undrafted free agent in 2007. So all these guys who I grew up rooting for, to see those guys and then to put that jersey on that says DeVito on the back. You know, the first time I had my name on the back of a jersey. Uh, yes, it was very nerve wracking, but also such an honor and something that I'm so grateful for. As the new NFL season begins, DeVito wrestles with an inner conflict. That's been my whole life for the past 18 years, and now this is the second year that I haven't done that. And so uh, there's definitely something missing a little bit. DeVito suffered two major concussions in 2015, including this one during a game against the Vikings. And so my wife's on TV watching this, and she sees me asleep on the field. Despite that, DeVito considered another run. I wasn't thinking about any of these injuries. You know, I, how quickly I forgot that I wasn't sleeping at night. How quickly I forgot that I was knocked out on the field. Uh, and so I had made the decision to go back, not knowing that my wife really didn't want me to. And when I had said that, that's when she said, listen, I've been quiet to this point, but uh, I'm not going to watch you go through this again. Many players and parents are now weighing the pros and cons after a study from Boston University researchers found severe symptoms of CTE in all but one of the 111 NFL brains they studied. Dr. Michael Alasco is one of the co-authors. You know, we're finding this in 177 out of 202 football players. You can't ignore the numbers. Researchers studied football players of all skill levels, from pre-high school to the pros. Scientists found that those who played at higher levels, like the NFL, showed more severe signs of CTE. It indicates that there's different amounts of levels of hitting your head that can result in CTE, and we got to figure out how much is too much. Alasco admits that there are some limitations to the study and that findings cannot be generalized to the larger population. There's likely other factors that interact with exposure to hitting your head a bunch that may increase someone's risk, and we don't know what those factors are. The symptoms are still troubling. Impaired cognitive function and changes in mood, including anxiety and depression, can all result from CTE, according to doctors. And oftentimes what happens is those progress to the point where you can no longer do tasks like paying your bills or driving, um, what we've referred to as dementia. Um, and so that was very, um, you know, it's very sad and very distressing for families and, and the individual to go through. Researchers say one of the limitations of the study was that they were only able to study the brains of deceased people. Doctors here are finding new ways to study CTE in people who are still alive. Researchers also found that it was not always the heaviest or hardest hits that caused these symptoms. We think it's these smaller, repetitive, you know, thousands and thousands of head impacts that add up over time that we think are kind of like the prominent contributors to, to CTE. Situations that linemen like DeVito face every day on the field. It's one thing to get a knee injury, to get an Achilles injury, a shoulder injury. Um, those things you can recover from. When you're messing with your brain, it's messing with who you are as a person. Now, as participation in football dwindles in Maine, coaches are teaching safe tackling techniques from USA Football's Heads Up program. With the knowledge that we're getting from it, we're just, we've become a lot smarter in how we go about practicing and, and prevention. This game is only for a little, a small span of your life. You know, I want you to be able to enjoy that, that small span, but I also want you to be able to enjoy your life. None of us are going pro. Yeah, let's see how Toro Loco, buddy. But those who do, like DeVito, say his family takes priority over his desire for another year in the league. Those effects don't just affect me. Those effects affect my family. You know, those, those, this long-term stuff dealing with CTEs and concussions, that's going to affect how I interact with them, um, and that's going to affect their lives. And I need to be here for them for as long as possible.